Howdy folks! Welcome back as I'm trying to fix this. You're so professional. Hi, I'm Tetsu. And I'm Champ. And welcome back to Pokemon Violet! Last time we did a whole bunch of things that may or may not have been relevant. Let's move on. To the giant glowing <laughs> spot over here. <laughs> well, I don't know. Jump off cliff! <laughs> Uh, what? Oh, it's telling me what Pokemon are right here. That's oh, cool. yeah, that is kind of cool. <laughs> Psyduck. Hi, Psyduck. That is Excuse me why I steal that... this TM. That's creepy. Fake tears. Their eyes are glowing. <laughs> oh, and it's another dome. Oh, yeah. Uh, in last episode, we actually found these and things. This one's glowing red. Uh, oh, hey, Pikachu. Pika, we've already got one of you. It's flying type. Anyway. What is this? No clue. Uh, oh, it's the little poison type thingy from... Yeah, poison uh, electric. Okay. LP! Okay. Anyway, um, so yeah, last time we saw one of these dens, and apparently you can catch Terra type Pokemon in it that, you know, with rare Terra types. Also, we caught one of those. A Mastiff, which is a dark so type Pokemon. now let's look at our... Also, we are paralyzed. <laughs> look at the map. So here's where we're... Here's where we're going. Yeah, we're heading to the Bug Gym. I mean, which makes sense because we have Fue Coco and Fire type, and which makes me wonder what type of Terra type Pokemon we're going to deal with. Hey, another trainer. I'm so curious about Team Star. We might want to go to the Pokemon Center. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah, we also caught a uh, Gimme Ghoul, the Pokemon from one of the trailers. So Angel the Courier. Courier? Angel Courier? Side up. Whatever. He sent out a side deck. Cloud Nine. He's got three Pokemans. Okay. Water, Water pulse. pulse. That did a lot. Uh, and confused. <laughs> you want to snap out of confusion there, Mimic? Yeah. <laughs> that hurt. Uh, we might want to switch. The only bad thing is we really don't... Oh, it's not oh it did snap out of confusion. Yeah. ha -da! The only problem is we really don't have anything designed to take out water types. I mean, we got Fido? As long as it doesn't have any psychic type moves, I think we'll be okay. We immediately get confused when we get... <laughs> oh, come on. The transitioning in this game. Water Pulse! That Ow. still did a bit. <laughs> and oh, confusion! They should only do neutral. Oh. Neutral? Because we're part flying. But flying doesn't. Yeah, doesn't tired. resist! <laughs> uh, clearly. <laughs> well, anyway, there's a side deck taken care of. Oh, well, level up for, uh. Sent out Mastiff. Well, we're a fighting type, so... It doesn't have Intimidate, does it? Nope, apparently not. Double Kick! I kind of figured we were faster. Flamingo! For the win! This thing has been doing work. Like, seriously. Yeah. Oh, this was a... I, I'm gonna go ahead and say the Flamingo was a permanent member of the team. Oh, everybody leveled up but Flamingo. <laughs> or, I, mean, I mean, not Flamingo, but oh, Treasure Oh, Flamingo chest. gets focus energy. Alright. Uh, copycat? It's either that or detect. I don't really see a situation where we'll have to use detect. I guess it kind of depends on what things go to, but yeah, for right now. Incinerate! Uh, is that for Mr. Croc? Yes. Okay. Um... That destroys berries, right? 
Yeah. Yeah. So just get well, the ember. Yeah. No real point in keeping it. Mud Bray. Uh, we might want to switch. Eh. Okay, never mind. Well. Uh, I mean, it might have, uh, what, what's that move called? Stamina? High horsepower. Or that. Well, what? It oh, it's a, a berry. berry. Ornberry. Okay. That is kind of... Ah! What? <laughs> the flamingo held on with rocks from the smash of rock. It's a fighting type move. I mean, that's kind, that's kind of interesting. Critical and... hit. Ah. That is kind of interesting that we got to see a regular trainer with an item. Oh no, we lost flamingo. Which is fine, he put in the work. Yes, it did. Enough work for Shrew to go in there and win the victory! Isn't it part poison? Yeah, but he's like the healthiest one we've got. <laughs> yeah, that's a fair point. <laughs> Finish it! Good bite. Luckily, we are faster. <laughs> Good job, Shrew. You've won your only battle so far. I mean, to be fair, Mudbray's not that fast, but I mean, Shrew doesn't look... Oh, level up. It doesn't look all that fast either. Oh, that's a lot of prize money. Yeah. We took his lunch money, his breakfast meal, and everything else. Ooh, squirrel. Wait. Oh, cricket tots. And uh, combi. item over here. Vespa Quinn? Yes, that's a Vespa Quinn. Okay. I think we'll just stay away from that. Yeah, probably before... Zordon Look, Zordon, here. every time, like, Angel Grove can defend itself for once. <laughs> it doesn't need the powers of the Green Ranger. <clears throat> okay, the best ranger. It's a good thing that, you know, we don't have walking in front of trainers anymore. It doesn't trigger battles. That is kind of nice, definitely. I'll just take that awakening. Hey, Jigglypuff. Jigglypuff. More Fido. Fletchling. Hey, y'all can just hang out here. I'm gonna run over here and go heal real quick. Been We're having, having not... some nice battles? Oh, is this the prize guy? Hello there, I'm a Pokemon League rep. Been having some nice Pokemon battles? So far, you've defeated two trainers here in Area 2 of South Province. Once you defeat five trainers, you'll get a lovely prize! Well, I mean, that's fair. Good morning. I'd like to rest my Pokemon. They are all beat up. Yes. And apparently I'm going to have to invest in Paralyzed Heals. Because <laughs> everything in its mother has Lick. Uh, what was that? Just telling us how to crouch. Oh. Fair enough. Come here, my sweet babies. Let's get like about ten... Yeah, because, like, apparently everything in this game knows the move Lick. And paralyzes regularly. Oh, man, we're almost out of money. Yeah. I like to sell. We got a nugget, right? From that. Oh, wow, you can actually sell rare candies for once. That's interesting. Yeah, 2500 Poké Dollars a pop. Cool. It would be Electro Ball TM is worth five grand. <laughs> interesting oh yeah we got nugget and stardust we can sell I and mean, it's not like we can use it for anything else so why not no nah, good all right onward to uh south province area two wait why did we just now get that prompt i don't know should and we, and now, that... question is should we continue exploring or should we go battle the gym since we're right here. I mean, considering we've done tons of exploring already, we might want to do something before people start, you know, shouting out the comments. Yeah, okay, let's go do a gem. Forward! Okay, more bug Pokemon. I mean, bug gym in the area, so that's not really surprising. Oh, Ketsing? 
Doesn't look like a bug gym to me. Well, I think all of them are have that look, I guess. It looks more like a rock type gym. Yeah, I would figure the icon would at least be different. But I guess that's the region seal, maybe? Oh, well, there are bugs in here. Oh, hey, those dorks! I just realized I've been using her voice this entire time. Came to see this gym? You're out to earn some gym badges and take on the Pokemon League, aren't you? Yes, I knew it! I'm so glad I asked you to do it. Before you can battle the gym leader, you're going to have to pass a certain challenge set by them. Uh, their gym test. Every gym test is different. If you ask the lobby staff about it, they'll tell you what's up. Here, have these. When you use them, consider it me healing up your Pokemon. That doesn't sound creepy at all. Well, I mean, thanks for the three free super potions. Guess I'll just go battle every trainer. Okay. Um, well, since if this is a bug type gym. Yeah, we got Mr. Croc. We've got gonna, Flamingo. Look at that Flamingo. Welcome to the Concordio Gym. Let me register you as a challenger. Your name is Dos Dorks, yes? Great. Now, in order to face the gym leader, Caddy, you first have to pass the gym test. Here at the Corticone Gym, that means make, taking on the Olive Roll. Olive Roll is a big part of life in Concordia. We held the Olive Harvest Festival here each year for generations to usher in bumper crops, and I am butchering that name of this town so bad. I mean, to be fair, I didn't do any better. To pass our gym test, you'll have to roll an olive-shaped ball all the way to the goal. Your efforts should help ensure we get a great olive harvest next year, too. The staff are over at the Olive Rolling Field will explain the rules to you in further detail. I'll register the location on your map app is to the north of town. Oh, so the gym challenge isn't actually in the gym. Okay. Or maybe it's just for this one, maybe. Because, I mean, to be fair, that is kind of interesting. We're... Our test is basically giving them free labor. <laughs> oh, okay. I'm assuming... Yeah, okay. Olive Rolling Field. Destination. Yeah, we see Jigglypuff on the map. So I guess we can just fly to all these Pokemon centers. Looks like it. What in the world is that? Uh, stuff popping up into view. That's bad. Try the olive roll right here. Welcome to the olive rolling field. This gym test is all about stamina. You'll need to push it with all you've got to get a large olive ball rolling and make it all the way to the end. Get the ball over various obstacles and push it into the goal to clear the course. Now that you're all filled in, are you ready to start the gym test? Yeah. So do we use a Pokemon, or do we do it? Great! Put in the wish for a good olive harvest and roll, roll, roll away. I don't know. Mm. Black screen. There we go. Okay. It's us, apparently. Take on the olive roll challenge. Three, two... One. Go! Oh. Uh, uh, oh, crap. This thing's not going to bounce out of bounds, is it? I don't think it's going to, but... Um, where do we uh, go from here? Hiya? Can we push it over that ramp? Beat me and you can take this shortcut here? Sure, I'm all about them shortcuts. You were challenged by a, a gym trainer. Cricketune! I love that thing. It's so cool. Go, Flamingo! It's Captain Flamingo. Yeah, Flamingo time. Flamingo just totally killed Cricketune. Yes. Smacked it upside the head. Showed it what's boss. Rascal leveled up. Hey. That, that that's is bad. terrible. Yeah. That's very bad. Okay, Team Smoliv, time to clear the way.
Okay. Hiya! If that goes over that ramp after we just got that shortcut. Uh, this is like stupidly ridiculous. I mean, to be fair, this is actually kind of interesting. I mean. Uh. uh boom! Double escape! Another uh, shortcut, I'm assuming. Looking for a shortcut, you gotta earn it. Gym Trainer Antonio. Okay. Man, I. Okay. Another bug to fall before the mighty of Flamingo. It's Captain Flamingo. It's Flamingo time. That's gonna be like your gold bat thing all over again, isn't it? Probably. <laughs> uh. Your mighty will blew right past me after all. Okay. Some of the phrasing. Even the small of can tell how strong you are. <laughs> are we sure that's an olive and not just a football? Uh, oh, they, they didn't actually transition this time. Uh, but... It's a good thing this isn't timed. Like, this is... So bad. <laughs> like, I can't, like, just get in the goal. No! No, go back the other way, you stupid olive thing. <laughs> uh, yeah. Um. There we go. Huzzah. We did it! Gym test. You All right. <laughs> Can I battle a gym leader now? Or do we have to do another one of these? Please no. That was annoying. <laughs> I think it made it overly bouncy. I'm going to have to make sure to edit through these black screens because that's ridiculous. With that performance, I'm sure we can look forward to a next... They're a great olive hardest next year. I'm happy to declare your gym test officially cleared. Congratulations. Please report to the lobby, blah, 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 blah. All right, let's go, my right on. Back to the gym. This is going to be my favorite area, because look at all the bugs. <laughs> okay. As you get stopped. Head across! Head across. God, this just runs yeah. so bad. <laughs> like, in the city, out in the open, in the open world areas, it runs perfect. Perfect enough. Alright. Welcome back, those dorks. I hear you are on a roll out there. Oh, God. <laughs> uh, puns. Are you ready to challenge the gym leader, Caddy? The sugar bug. Yes. Caddy the sugar bug. Okay. To the battle court. I was about to say, this is going to cause the battle web. These load screens. Oh, golly. Yeah. I, I think you need to leave that one in just for... Hey, it's a Vivian. That's a really cool pattern. Eat up my cute little viv vivillon. Oh, are we battling on top of the building? Looks like it. Oh, what a lovely trainer you are. Thank you very much for your skillful olive rolling. It was quite impressive. Oh, did I forget to introduce myself? Forgive me. My name is Caddy. And I am the owner here at Patasario Soapberry. Oh, that's right. I'm not in my shop. I'm on duty as a leader of the Cortando Gym right now. Forgive me. <clears throat> my name is Caddy, and I am the gym leader here in Cortando. I'm butchering that name horribly. My main line of work is crafting sweets as a pastry chef. That's fair. Little sweets that bring happiness with just one bite. Bug-type Pokemon, Hylian foliage. 
Both are small yet very powerful. Don't let your guard down unless you would like to find yourself knocked off your feet. All right, here we go. Our first gym battle of Pokemon Violet. Yeah, against a pastry chef. So I did like that. That was pretty good. Yeah, that was that was actually nice. Nimble. Oh, it's another bug we haven't found yet. It's a cricket! Or a grasshopper. Don't take my bug Pokemon lightly. You'll be in a world of pain if you do. Okay, level so level 14. 14. Not bad. Hiya. Goodbye. It's Flamingo time! It's Captain Flamingo. It's Flamingo time. Wants to learn to move baby doll eyes. What does that do again? I think it lowers special attack. No, targets attack. This move always goes first. Oh, that's that's new. I don't remember it being a priority move. Mm. Who you got next? Oh, steel type thing. Steel bug? Tor Torantula? You know what? Let's let Mr. Croc get in on the action. It's Crocky. It's Mr. Croc! From the Temple of the Gobos. Yar. Incinerate it! Goodbye. <laughs> and it's down. <laughs> I feel kind of sorry for her. Level 16! And Shrew wants to learn Poison Fang. Hell yeah, I want to teach Poison Fang. Bye, Acid Spray. <laughs> uh, I think we might actually keep Shrew. Teddy Ursa! So it's going to be a bug type Teddy Ursa? Oh, you're quite good, aren't you? How should I roll things out from here? Wait. What so, if it's Terra type is bug? That, that's what I'm. That's what I was implying. With uh, fine, you want to do that? We'll do it too. Terrestrialize. Now, my little Pokemon, time to break free from your cocoon. I mean, admittedly, that is kind of a cool concept. Oh, that's cool looking. But it does make her weak to fire type Pokemon. <laughs> Which is what we've been using. Time! Mr. Croc! Terrestrialize! From the Temple of the Gobos. Oh. I, li I like that. I like that a lot. Little crown with a candelabra. Jerry swipes. That's actually doing a lot of damage. That crit. That last one did, yeah. But time for... Incinerate! Time force. That didn't actually knock it out. Uh... Feast your eyes on my shiny bug decoration! Though this one is not something. Fury counter! Uh, that was a lot of build-up for nothing. Yes. But that is one gym badge down. I tell you, sir. Oh, I love that overdramatic, like... It kind of reminds me of Pokemon Stadium. <laughs> Rawr! Mimic leveled up. Yay! Aww. It's so cute! All of my sweet little Pokemon drop like flies. That's morbid! <laughs> That's very morbid. <laughs> are we? Are what? We... Mr. Croc is evolving. Uh. Oh, that's cool. He's actually out in the world evolving, not in a blank screen. What? He's wearing a sombrero. I love it. Crocolor. 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 I love it. Oh, I love it. He's wearing a sombrero, and I love it. The valve in Crocolar's flame sack is closely connected to its vocal cords. This Pokemon utters a guttural cry as it spews flames every which way. It's also leaning over. Does that mean it's going to be on, like, all fours, actually? 
Because it's actually crunched. Your strength rose during our battle like a nice bread in the oven. That. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Congratulations, you passed. It's proof of your victory against me, the gym leader. Allow me to present you with this gym badge. I hope you'll enjoy it alongside a helping serving of some of my deluxe handmade treats. Just give me the badge. I mean, to be fair, it's kind of nice. Okay. Wow, that's different. Yeah, you get to have cupcakes and a picture. Huh. Okay. Fair. With one gym badge in your possession, Pokemon of level 25 will be easier to catch and will listen to your commands as well. Alright, and a TM. We got Pounce. Is the attack you use past this target that's also lowers this target. It's a bug type move though. That's a bit interesting. Huh. Alright, so there's our first gym badge. Yeah. And Mr. Croc evolved. Yes, and now it wears a sombrero. Now and... we just need to give it a little uh ukulele for Mariachi music. Oh, we're getting a phone call. Hey, hey, those dorks! Just had to tell you, my Pokemon are learning some pretty cool new moves. Be ready! How'd it go with the gym, by the way? Yes! Ha <laughs> ha! I mean, it was obvious you were gonna pass, but congrats! I'm so glad I encouraged you to take on the gyms. Nice job, pass me. I'm training hard too, by the way. Day and night, going all over the place to boot. Thank goodness we've got the map app. It helps a ton with figuring out where to go next. Uh, especially in a huge place like Paldea. After all, the path to getting stronger usually has some strange stops and detours. Hmm, speaking of going strange places, I wonder what Arvin's up to. Anyway, catch you up later. I hope you know I'm gonna want to battle if we run into each other. Hmm. That's fair. So is that like a subtle hint to go do Arvin's thing? I don't know. But I guess we can <laughs> go find out what Arvin's up to. Okay. Uh, what what does our map say? Like as far as well, first things first. Pokemon Center. To the Pokemon Center, because <laughs> not only do we have to heal, we have to wait a minute. You had a yellow sign right there next to you. What do you want? The Pokemon Flabebe. For my Snom? No, I don't have a Flabby. That That's interesting. So you can get the little Snom here. Do, 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 do. We're gonna... basically in a... I need some gas. Yeah, my gas, I need you to heal my Pokemon. <laughs> I te technically, I guess that kind of counts. Uh... And recharge my terror orb, please. Please do not knock that off. <laughs> Alright. Profile, map out. Okay. Okay, so more picture stuff. Your terror orb is all charged. Alright, so where to? Well, let's check out our handy dandy little map. It's a map, it's a map, it's a map. So we've done one of eight on Victory Road, zero of five on Starfall Street, and zero and five on the Path of Legends. Okay. So what is this? The Victory Road. So, wait, 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 go back. So, okay, so we see the icons. We know that's a boss, because from that commercial. That's a gym leader, and that and thir green one right there is probably a Titan. So now what, that would involve us going all the way back around the map. So we could continue going down here to battle our next gym leader. Zordon summoned you, apparently. Or we could go all the way up here to do a Path of Legend. Yeah, so we got two up there. We've got... I mean, we could go down there and face another gym, but how well, strong are they going to be? Is a so question. So this is the flying type gym. The Titan badge. Okay. What do we have to deal with flying types currently? We've got Flamingo who's firefighting. Fly Titan badge flying ground. Fly. Wait. Huh? Titan badge ground. The Quaking Earth Titan. 
Mysterious quakes keep shaking the Oslo desert. Puerto Nardino locals claim they caught glimpses of a giant unknown creature with sands and dust. Okay. Or this is a titan also. The search for the open sky titan. Boulders are tumbling down a mountain from West Providence Area 1. Perhaps the titan wanting to keep the sky all to itself. The climb may be more challenging than the battle. Huh. Okay, so we're right here. This is the gym. Mm -hmm. This is a psychic type gym. Yeah. So... I mean, along the way, we can check those teratite uh, things, if nothing else. Yeah, let's go here. Set as destination. Forward! Alright, let's go. We've got some moving to do as we go through the steep step. There we go. What is that? That's an olive. That is There's a wheelbarrow. A wheelbarrow. <laughs> the legendary Pokemon. <laughs> Capable uh, of anything. Yep. Except being a bug. Oh, hey. I guess that bug Hey! That's a cricket. And there's go-goats. That's kind of cool. There's sheep. Oh, goats. Kick it. Kick it again. Smack it all the way. Astonish. I mean, if we're not keeping the tarantula, we might want to grab this. Yeah, we'll throw a Pokeball at it. Yeah, we caught a nimble. We can call it chirp. <laughs> Considering that, wait, it's a grasshopper, right? So maybe hopper? Maybe? Yeah, it's a grasshopper Pokemon. It's highly skilled in the fighting style in which it uses jumping capabilities of dodging coming opponents while dealing attack. Well, dodging coming attacks while also dealing damage to opponents. So, kicks? I hate that it does that. It doesn't even have any lower speed and higher defense. Powers up bug type moves when the Pokemon's HP is low. Yeah, we'll keep it in the box for now. We'll decide later. Yeah. That is cool. Finding another bug type. Potion? Times three. three. Alright. Bambi! Oh, Who are you? Are you a trainer? Yeah. All right, so this is our third. Wait, are we still in the You're the student. Fletchling. Okay. Flamingo. Hit it with a wing attack. And we get hit by a quick attack. Nicely done. Yeah, Flamingo. It's Captain Flamingo. It's Flamingo time. Huzzah! <laughs> uh. That is so jarring. Do, 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 do. What is what that? Is... Um. What are you? Hey! That's new! Caspakin? That looks like a Kappa! Like, the, the Japanese uh, water monster. You know, the one that drags children into bogs and shit. Not very effective. Are you a grass dark type? That'd be kind of cool. Granted, have we had a grass tar dark type yet? Uh, we have a dark type on the team. Uh, Casper Kid was caught. Okay, what are you? Hey, oh, level up! Rascal leveled up and wants to learn bite. I mean, it's a dark type, so sure. Snarl's good. Uh, Blick is kind of nice, but Scary Face isn't really all that useful. Alright. Okay, let's see. Grass. 
Okay, traditional Paladin dishes can be extremely spicy because they include the shed front teeth of Caspikid among their ingredients. It's the spicy pepper Pokemon. Oh, yeah, I remember actually hearing about this. A lot of people were complaining. <laughs> <laughs> because apparently a lot of people had like this idea of what a pepper Pokemon would look like, and this probably wasn't even close to what they were thinking. <laughs> uh, oh well. You just gonna name it Pepper? I mean, I named a, a mimic in a chest mimic, so I have no room to talk on uninspired so, names. So do we? Add it to the party because it's a grass type. I mean, that depends. Like, what mo which one of your mods would you want to get rid of? It knows Leaf is and Razor Leaf, and it has Chlorophyll as its ability. Lower attack, more base speed. I mean, considering that's not really an issue for it. Well, Razor Leaf's physical now, isn't it? It's not actually special. Okay, so I'm assuming you're not wanting to get Flamingo or Mr. Croc, so Rascal would be the one, right? Or Shrew. I don't know. I, I kind of like the ones we have now. Okay. Casper Kid. All right. More Go Goats. Is there anything else up here? Uh, rock Ruff. Ruff Ruff. Oh, cave. There is a cave. More... More go -gurt. More... More go -gurt. That's not a cave. That's just a... What Ooh, is that? I do not know. That looks so cool. Rah! Uh, wait. Is that... Char Cadet? Is that? Oh, I just KO'd it. Yeah. And nothing leveled up. Oh, wait! No, Shrew leveled up! Okay, so it was worth it. Okay. That's a berry. Maybe. Oh, Mankey fur. fur. Okay, so Mankeys are in the game, apparently. Huh, Char Cadet. That doesn't really look like a Pokemon, does it? Mm. Maybe if we come back later, it'll be there. Maybe. But no, it was a one-time thing, and we'll never find it again, no. <laughs> Ex accuracy. Uh. Hmm. Yeah, we'll find... Wait, whoa, 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 stop, stop. Turn. Maybe. Okay, there's a mud break. I was thinking for a second this is something else. Okay. On the road again. Oop. It's great to be on the road again. Trainer. Have you seen one of those pillars of light? You can spot them even from far away. That the is... row of the student. I hope they fix that. Shup it. Shup it, I don't want it. <laughs> Ooh, we have Scrappy, that. so... I mean, technically we also have Wing Attack as well, so... They also crit, so... That too. It's Captain Flamingo. It's Flamingo time! Wait, that's it? Okay. Never mind. Too bright. 728. We took our lunch money. <laughs> uh, there's another item. I will say I do like how the world looks. Are we go in the right direction? I have no idea, honestly. So we decided we were going over here. Yeah. So it looks like that winding path will take us. Unless we want to look for those terror type Pokemon. Well, that'll take us to some more Terra-type Pokemon anyway. Yeah. Forward! 
Oh, another go go. And whoa, whoa! It was a manky? Okay, it was manky. It was a manky. Actually, we haven't seen. Outside of Flamingo and. Who is. What are you? Uh, is it that grasshopper? Yeah, it's a yeah, grasshopper. It's uh, and that's Psyduck a Psyduck sleeping. sleeping. Is there anything else? That was an item. I think the Pokeball are into the line around. Interesting. We Ooh, jump hey. off a cliff, yeah. Oh. What are you? Oh. Hello, you are something. Tadbulb? Wait. Is that that belly thing? It might be. That belly thing's pre-evolution? <laughs> want to catch it i mean i mean it's a new pokemon so i don't like how the pokeball just sat in the air like that though that that is a bit weird instead of just dropping to the ground tadball mucus okay it floats using the electricity stored in its body. When thunder clouds are around, Tablet will flow higher off the ground. Considering the way that's face, that thing's face looks, I would imagine that's the pre-evolution to that the electric gym leader's Pokemon. Do you want it or no? Not personally. Okay. Well, we caught another Pokemon. Yeah. <laughs> A lot of people in the comments like, "Use it! Use it! It's really good." Hey, it's Cricket. Time to smash. You stood you were in the way of the wrong train. Dude do gonna <laughs> keep on moseying along. Gonna keep trucking. <laughs> Wonder what else we'll find as we keep going. Eh, you never know. Uh, I tell oh, you. there's something glowing over there. Oh it's so gold glowing over there. I'm assuming that's the terror type thing. Antidote. Yeah, but we can't get over there, can we? We could probably try jumping across, maybe. Legend of Arceus all over again! Oh. You managed to scramble back. Hmm. Hey, oh. Weasel. Hey, Weasel. Wee wee! Oh, maybe right there? I believe I can fly! Or at least follow the side out. Oh, it's a Buizel. Oh, it's a Buizel, uh. Terror type. Okay. It's Buizel type! <laughs> Alright, well, at the very least, you can see what it is. Yeah! Bui bui! And its terror type is. Ice? Bui bui bui! Okay, kick it. Kick its Buizel butt. It's level 21 Buizel butt. Yeah. Oh no, icy wind! It's gonna lower our speed! Oh! A lot oh, right, we're half flying! flying. <laughs> yeah. Yuck! And this isn't even gonna take it out. Yeah. No, but it'll knock its terror typing out. Maybe. Yeah, there we go. Bleeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeee
pepper Pokemon. Uh, another Bleasel. More Psyduck. <laughs> wait, 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 what was that? It was a Mankey. Oh, okay. I didn't really, I couldn't really see it. Uh, we might want to switch Flamingo for somebody else, or, you know, heal. This, this, this is the backpacker. This is like, uh, like, can you beat Pokemon Violet with only a Flamingo? <laughs> hey, it's a shrew. It's Captain Flamingo. It's Flamingo time. Bye-bye. <laughs> oh, boy. Hey, sure level up. And we defeated uh, the backpacker. S sorry I asked. Yeah, you wanted a ride. Oh. I mean, okay, yeah, technically we have a vehicle. Blood Bray, what is that? No, you stupid horse! You're the one who bumped into me! Just for that. Yeah. Yeah. That was not a good idea. That was a very bad idea. Well, it's not like I can do anything. I'm about to say if it used rock throw, I was gonna... <laughs> okay. Oh, critical hit. All right. Mudbray fainted. I don't know. I thought that was a good idea for the experience. Now, where did that floating thing go? No idea. Did it just disappear? I would not be surprised. Uh, oh! There's some over here. Hello! What are you? Hey! That is weird looking. Flittle? Flittle? Locate should do any damage to it, though. Because it's... Yeah, it's not very effective. Confusion? Confusion? So it's a psychic type. Interesting. Yeah, we should just double kick. Just to weaken it just a bit more. Because the Pokemon Center's right there. Yeah. Disarming voice. Eeh. Pokeball! We caught it! Little. Hey, Doughboy and Rascal leveled up. Is that Flittle? Spends its time running around wastelands. If anyone steals its beloved berries, it will chase them down and exact its revenge. Wow, <laughs> that's dark. You have stolen from me. Now you must die. <laughs> okay. Um. What, Satan? <laughs> Oh, Sith. Okay. <laughs> Fair enough. Okay, Terra type psychic. Fair enough. Confusion, baby doll eyes, disarming voice, and quick attack. Baby doll eyes as a priority move is very interesting. Increased defense and lowered attack, which means it has a bold nature. Okay. Do you want it? Not. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, it would be kind of cool to have. But do you want it as one of your main ones? Uh, well, let's see what we got so far. I guess. Oh, let's just get up the hill to the Pokemon Center first. Yeah. Sort sort of the thing about each of us having like three Pokemon that we're wanting to keep. It does mean that we're kind of having to pick and choose what we want. Mm. Captain Flamingo. Hmm? Okay. You sometimes see Pokemon icons in your map. When you do, it means you have to find those Pokemon in the area. Oh, okay. So that's why we were seeing Pokemon on the map. Fair enough. All right. All right. So now, do you want it over any of the team members we have right now? Okay, so currently my Pokemon are Shrew, Mimic, and Doughboy. Um, well, 
So technically, and then I have Flamingo, Rascal, and Mr. Croft. Unless you want a true, and then I have Rascal. I think we both agree we just like the design of that Rascal. Yeah. Okay. Um, okay, Doughboy's a fairy type, Mimic's a ghost type, and sh Shrew. Yeah, Shrew is poison. But yeah. you want it because it evolves into that artistic thing. Yeah, I think that it evolves into that. Um, if only for the color palette. Mm. Do you want to swap out Doughboy for now and use Sith? Yeah, why not? Let's do that. Okay. So we got a new team member. For now. And I think we might want to end the episode. <laughs> There's a ton of Mankey just dancing over there. Yes. Uh, let's see what else we can find. Hey, go Garu. There's something glowing up there. Yes. Problem with some of the Mons, like, walking in the overworld, it's kind of... Oh. Yeah, it, you can barely see some of them. But, I mean, I do like the attention that some of them are very small. So, I mean, I can't really complain about that. Another trainer? I'm assuming. I gotta buy your CD if you beat me. Okay. The musician, huh? And if we win, you give us some of the money. Meow! It is... Picking time! It's Captain Flamingo! Wow, it's was... Flamingo time! That was... Okay. That was it? That's all you had was just Meowth? Okay. Never mind. Hey! Flamingo leveled up! It's like laughing! Ha ha ha! What? what? Nobody buys CDs anymore? No. <laughs> I mean, technically people do? It's more of a retro thing. That's uh, a mud spray. Yeah. Makuhita. Okay. Little pepper thing. Oh. <laughs> he said you called. Fear me. <laughs> oh god, there's another one right there too. Yeah. They're everywhere. They're coming out of the gosh dang. Ooh. Tear it in. Should we finish this with a Terry Dim? I guess. Do, 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 do. Oh, wait. The spirit? Yo! Oh. <clears throat> Yo, Dose Dorks. So, from what I gather, it seems like the open Sky Titan lives somewhere up in this mountain. But there are all these crazy boulders raining down from the mountain, too. It's gonna be a little tricky to stand around and look for the Titan while dodging all those. I think you'll be sent flying if you get hit by a fallen boulder. But maybe you could power your way through atop that brute of yours. Okay. Fair? Okay, so let's... Uh, That's another uh, shrew. Okay. Well, you want to save this for next episode? Cause... Well, I mean, how much further away are we from it? Not a clue. Oh. It's all the way over there. Okay. So. Yeah, we probably want to end it here. Alright. <laughs> uh, I guess you can't send out your Pokemon while you're riding. Alright. Anyway, everybody. Uh, we did quite a bit today, actually. So. One gym badge down. Yeah. We saw Teddy Ursa. And it got obliterated. We have a Mr. Croc wearing a sombrero. Uh, we have Sith now on the party. We have Flamingo being a badass as normal. And yeah, everything's bright as rain. Also, I got a treasure chest. So we got to end this episode because I've got to go watch an LSU football game. Go Tigers. So next time, I'm Champ. And I'm Tetsu. Thanks for watching. Be sure to like, share, subscribe, ring the bell for more content. Please check out all of our fantastic other Pokemon Let's Plays and solo challenges we've done, including Tetsu's look at 7U. Uh, yes. Till next time, take care.